of the naval squadron in up near Manchester. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that one, Bob. <laughs> I wish you'd switch that off. I have. <laughs> anyway, it was a, just to the south west of our airfield, Norwich. Oh, I know. Electricity. Lots of smoke. And the smoke was drifting up in this nice summer day stuff as it had our airfield virtually covered with smoke. So we got briefed by the skipper. The skipper said, we'll all go out to the aircraft, we'll start up. I will take off and see what it's like and either call you up because we can do what we want to do or I'll say forget it and you can switch off and come back. So we did that. He took off and then he called us up. And he said, right over. in those days we used to take off in pairs and I was a new pilot, so I was flying on somebody's wing. But we take off in pairs. But he said, all take off, but take off seriously. So for the first time, instead of watching this guy when we went, keeping your, your, your way, I was on my own. So my chap went, I put on full power, and I went, of course there's nothing to do. You're sitting there waiting for it to pick up speed. The next thing, of course, is down the carriage. So open the trap, put your finger on the button, ready. And then I suddenly thought, oh, God, you're airborne. Press the button. Oh, good God, you're not. <laughs> well, the funny thing was the chap in the tower who was reporting it, by May, 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 he said exactly what I said. It was, this came out later. But what happened was, I didn't, oh, you got away with it, you lucky bugger, but no, I didn't. Back down onto the air, onto the runway I went, and then immediately I could see all naval aircraft stations had arrested you with chains. So if you've got a problem, you put down your hook, catch the rest of gear, and the chains slow you down. I just missed it. <laughs> I put it down, but oh God, you missed it. Then I looked ahead, the fence. Ah, but thank you, somebody who had come up about three weeks earlier on the mosquito when he had broken the fence. And I said, thanks, Mick, as I went through the fence. And then I laughed at myself because the next thing was a road. And that road had a sign up there says, danger, low flying aeroplanes. <laughs> we used to walk down to the pub watching this side and here I was going across the road on my belly the side of the And I laughed at myself and across the road into a field. Oh, I'll stop. No, I won't. Through a bloody hedge, five foot drop into the next field, the other side of the hedge, and I came to a stop, undid myself, got out of the sea hawk which was lying on its side, turned round and looked and the first thing coming through was a gas truck and it was coming through the hole in the fence that I had seen and it was, no, 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 and it came over and put all you down. It broke. And the next one was the skipper and he said, oh God, it's you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first crash landing. <laughs> I didn't even get airborne. <laughs> That's what we wanted you to tell. That was the story we were talking about. Oh. <laughs>